Alright guys, this morning I'd like to uh, do a tutorial on Blackberry Smoke, One Horse Town. I've had it requested on my YouTube channel, so I thought I'd come in this morning and lay this one all out. I did a chart on it, so I'll take a picture of my chart. Saves me a lot of time as trying to do all these tabs on the digital thing. And you guys can check out the chart, stop the video when you see the chart, write it out if you like and then you can practice along too. The first tutorial on it will just be for the intro um, as I find that's pretty difficult to get through if you're just starting out or you're maybe you know intermediate a couple years in. Um, that's great. Anything that I learn does take time. If For me as a, an advanced person trying to study guitar and get more and more advanced anything that I learn that's really really hard takes a bit to get and that's the way it will always be with guitar so work at it lots and eventually it comes. The first part of this song starts off in an A minor chord and what we're doing is we're picking this fourth string open um, and then we're coming back down on the fret two with finger two then we open it again and we bring finger three up to string five and that's the first riff and the rhythm of it's more like if I was going to count it I would count in sixteenths and something you guys should do and do something like one E and uh, two E and uh, three E and uh, four E and uh, so now I get this four E and uh, and you can practice just doing that riff over and over again one E and uh, two E and uh, three E and uh, four E and uh, slower would be one E and uh, two E and uh, three E and uh, four E and uh. so I got my GoPro on I hope you guys are seeing that and that would be a kind of a practice exercise and as slow as you have to do it maybe even just one E and uh, two E and try to get it fast and always alternate your pick down up down up so that's the very first part of the riff for one horse town and it comes in after a three bar count in a three beat count in of one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one. So once he does this first riff, one E and, or sorry, four E and, uh, because then we're into the, the chord of A minor. So four E and, uh, now we're going right to A minor, fifth string first. We're picking the fifth string on beat one E and, uh, then we're picking the sixth string for two, two E and, uh, and the fifth string for three E and, uh, and we start the same riff, four E and, but this finger is going to go to string five fret two, and then we're going to take this finger into the C chord so that we can get this one E and, uh, two E and, uh, three E and, uh, then he's back to the first riff, four E and, uh, one E and, uh, two E and, uh, three E and, And the second time he stays on the C. And notice how I'm alternating my root note by bing, bringing finger three up and down from strings five to six. So I get this down on my pick on five, down up strumming, down the fourth and, and uh, all the way from the fourth string to the bottom. And then I pick six and down up. And the rhythm would be one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a so even that you could practice on its own. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. I hope that helps you guys get through it. Pause the video where you have to. Um, the next thing that I would suggest is maybe once you get all those parts down where you can do it just by yourself, go doing like one E and a two E and a three E and a, get it really at a good speed where you can pick. Another cool trick is to always rest this part of your hand or the heel of your palm on the bridge. There's another cool way people like to pick with their pinky. Some people prefer keeping their pinky on the body of their guitar and then doing this. Uh, so both ways are good. 
I prefer this way just because when I'm playing my electric, I can get more more freedom out of sweet picking and things like that. We'll talk a little bit about that too on our website, tjseasyguitar.com. Still building it, still building lots of content for it. Bear with me, it takes a long time, guys, but I will post it as much as I can. Plus, I'm teaching all week about 85 students through the day and night. Uh, but I love love this job and love giving you guys as much information as I can. So um, your support would be good. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and leave me comments. Again, uh, tjzzguitar.com will be the website and I always show it at the beginning of each video. I have my introduction. Um, one of those, that riff comes from one of the songs that I wrote years ago. But anyway, so back to this Blackberry Smoke One Horse Town where we get this uh, I'd be counting in four E and a one E and a two. So I'm going to count us in and you guys can try it once you get the idea. Um, so I'm going to go really slow and I'll count all the way up to four. As soon as I get into four, get ready to hit the four E and a, okay? One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and Oh, I missed it. Ha! <laughs> Let me try it again. Sorry. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a and a 4 E and a 1 E and a 2 E and a 3 E and a 4 E and a Now we're into the verse. So that was pretty cool. If we can get you guys through that, that would be awesome. Um, I'm going to do it again one more time through. I like to break my videos up into a few different sections. I find 10 minutes is long enough and maybe we can do some work. I will take a a photo of the intro and I'll post it as well onto my timeline so you can see the tab. Um, hopefully you know how to read tabs. Um, lines are the strings. The bottom line on every tab is always the six string. And I number my tabs so you know. This is six, five, four, three, two, one. So when you're looking at a tab, you'll see the bottom line and then you'll see a line above. The bottom line is your low string. The top line is your high string. Um, we'll talk about why that is later. I want to get through this video. I've only got three minutes left, so I'm going to work it again. I'll count us in and we'll try it. Don't forget when I'm on the C chord, I am toggling this finger three. And when I'm not on the string five of this three, I'm only strumming down on the fourth to the first string. Excuse me, so I'm getting one E and a two E and a three E and so every time I'm hitting the C root note, I'm only after strumming the bottom strings down, up, down, down, up, bottom four when I'm strumming on the C. So we'll try it again, one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a, watch that change, four E and a one, walking in a C chord, E and a three, back to the first part, four E and a one E and a two E and three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a stays on the C and a four E and a now we're into the verse which I'll put on my next uh, video that I'm going to do today.